Wagwan, welcome back to another Bombo Clive video. <laughs> so today video is a get ready with me i will show you how i do my makeup but make sure you please watch to the end and make sure you like subscribe and share with your friends and family and stay tuned to the end okay so i finished washing my face if you want to see my full-time face routine, I will link the video down below. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start by pushing my hair back so I can be out of my face. Now, I'm going to be going for a natural look. I'm going to be going super heavy. I will list every product that I forget to mention down below. I'm going to even list the products that I do mention in the description box down below. So, make sure you check that out. And I just want to say thank you guys for being supportive and thank you for continuing to watch my videos. Please make sure you um, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on the next video you want me to do. If you see me constantly looking down, it's because I'm grabbing things out my um, drawer to my vanity. And it's going to be like a get ready with me slash chit chat. Grab a spoolie for your eyebrows. So I'm going to be grabbing some eyebrow gel. So I'm going to be grabbing some eyebrow gel and just put, put some on my eyebrows. I have a fun fact. I never got my eyebrows done before, like never. My eyebrows are just like naturally thin and arched. So I usually just, you know, put makeup on it to make it thicker or thinner. But yeah, I never got my eyebrows done. I kind of want to, but I'm scared that it might mess up its natural shape. But yeah, everybody like, you never got your eyebrows done before? No, I never, I, there was never a need to because like they're already thin. Okay, so next we're gonna be taking a sharp brush. You wanna make sure the edge is pointy. But you wanna make sure the edge is pointy like that so you can get sharp line. And then I just got some pomade. We're just gonna make tiny brush strokes in an upper motion to resemble eyebrow. Then towards the middle, you wanna go up and slightly over. And then towards the end, you wanna go up and down. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. So then you want to do the same to the next eye. And again, this is going to be like an everyday makeup routine. So it's not like a going out to just, you know, I'm going to the mall, getting brunch with my friends, you know, looking cute. Everyday makeup look, you know? Me and my boo about to just run some errands, but I still want to look cute. Y'all, I had to switch headbands. Like the other one, it was just clashing too much with my shirt. So I'm like, it's, I just, I don't feel right just having like a different color headband and like a different color. It just, it, it bothered me so much. So I had to change. So I just got this regular, regular black one. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Marc Jacob Concealer. It's called Extra Shot Tan 370. And this is gonna go underneath my eyebrows. This is gonna be like an all natural look. So you you wanna go for the illusion that, that these are my eyebrows, you know? So next you're gonna go ahead and go with another sharp brush. And then you're gonna go ahead and start underneath the eyebrows. And then go all the way down. 
I don't know if you can tell because this concealer matches my skin quite well. I usually don't touch, you know, any of my eyebrows to the center of my eyebrows. I usually don't touch it. Clean up like the arch yeah, and the wing. So next you're just gonna do the same to the other eyebrow. And the sharper your brush is, the better. So you can get that fine line. Y'all, I cannot wait to get my first brand deal. I'm gonna be super, super excited. Like only great things from now is to come. I can't wait to be a full-time influencer because this is something that I really, really love doing. Like I enjoy making videos. I enjoy editing. I enjoy, I enjoy creating content. I love writing down new ideas, new things to do. I love it. Like y'all don't even understand how much I love it but it's going to show for itself take that same concealer and i just got a regular brush and just with the access concealer you want to put it on your lower your upper and lower lid so then i want to take a flat head brush is from mary Kay, and i'm just going to smooth that all out like this So I'm just going to be taking some of this, this nude, from this nude, it's called Nude Eyeshadow Palette, and I'm going to go for this brown uh, canvas. You're going to put it on your lower eyelid, and make sure you blend it all out. Okay, so next I'm gonna be taking the Kara Duo palette and then I'm gonna be going in with the Legacy. And for this one, I'm just gonna be putting towards the middle and working my way to the front. And then you wanna take the same brush and kind of blend everything in. We're gonna be going to the foundation. Um, I'm going to be taking a liquid foundation by their minerals. I'm just going to be putting it on my face. Really, I'm going to be putting it on my um, problem areas. I just bought some new um, beauty blenders. You got to take the beauty blender and just blend it all out. You really want to get the problem areas the most. And then I'm going to be using this filtered effect by Murphy's. And then I'm going to be taking the tip of the um, beauty blender and putting it on my cheeks. You don't want to contour your face too much, but you want to take the same part of the beauty blender. You kind of want to scope out your nose. So you want to start from the top and go downwards. Okay, so when you're done with that, I just have some finishing powder by NK. I'm going to take a really fluffy makeup brush. And with a little, you want to kind of sculpt your face. And then this is my favorite, favorite, all-time favorite product. It's by Sephora. And it's called I No still. Mistake. It's a liquid foundation concealer stick. And bro, when I tell you, okay, so you see how you can see like the lines underneath my eyes. Watch this. Okay, now let me just blend it. Go ahead and blend it. I live by this stuff. It makes me look like I have a filter on. Like, I don't want my whole face to look like that. I like light to medium coverage. I don't like full coverage. 
besides like on my super problem areas like my underneath my eyes it's like darker see like bro you can't tell me this don't look like i got a filter on so then after your is done sitting for a while you kind of want to blend off the excess makeup is not complete with the eyelashes so i kind of want to go for dramatic eyelashes but you know we're doing you know we're going for like a cell look like i got on makeup but i don't got on makeup you know okay so i don't know what eyelashes <laughs> i don't know what eyelashes to wear because i have these really cute ones oh yeah and if you like any of the lashes that i post um it will be on my website or you can dm me or you can comment down below if you want a pair of these eyelashes so i got on this eyelash and i don't know i don't know if it's too dramatic I think I like these. I think I might stick to these. Or I might get a little smaller. This is cute. But now it looks like that on like makeup, makeup. You know? So now let me go ahead and put on the other one. Okay, so now I'm just debating if I should put on eyeliner underneath my eyes. It makes your eyes like pop. You know what? I'm gonna just leave it like that. I don't even have to put the whole thing. Put it from the outer corner to the inner half of the inner. So like that. So next we're gonna move on to lips, which is my favorite part because it's like it's like okay, we're done. Like this is it. My lip, I kind of want to do the ombre effect, you know, like and this one you will have to use a brown eyebrow pencil old-fashioned pencil baby and you're just going to outline your lip so for me i'm just going to keep it natural just using that everyday brown eyeliner pencil you can get it from the local beauty supply house whatever and then um, by nyx i'm going to be taking the butter gloss and i'm just going to be putting it to the middle and then you're just going to be blending away. And this is the final look. Oh, the final look. Now I got to get some highlighter. I'm going to be using Anastasia. Um, it faded. But I mentioned it in one of my other makeup videos. Um, so this is just an Anastasia. I don't know which kind, which one. It faded. So we're just going to have to do what it do. So you're going to... Put some on your nose bridge. And this brush got a whole bunch of glitter on it. Like, it's okay. No, it's not okay. It looks a hot damn mess. Look at that. I'm freaking Rudolph the shiny nose reindeer. So you're just gonna take a real little bit, place it, dab it on your nose, well, the bridge of your nose. And then use your other finger, your, and just smooth it out bridge of your nose smooth it out i kind i like putting some like on my lip line and then i like to put some on my cheekbone and then i also like to put some on my eyebrow and then you just want to blend that all out i literally love this highlighter bro like look at it like look at it now let me go ahead and fix my wig and i will show you guys the finished look so yeah Girl, i don't even know if you can tell these glasses are green I match my green shorts but no i don't know if the glasses is too much i don't think no i feel like the glasses is too much i feel like this outfit is too much. Okay, so let me let me tone it down a little bit. So I got the cute everyday glasses. Let's see. Okay, yes, I like this. Oh, oh, I got something else. I got something else. I'm back. So I got these. Show you how I crotch these tighter. So I just take it. Well, I fold it inside out. Take it, scrunch it up like this. Scrunch it up like that. You just scrunching it up like that. I did this like four or five times. Then I take the safety pin, pin it through the scrunch. Out, 
should look like this. Yeah, I got these shoes. I think these look so cute with them on. And then I have my coach purse. And then I got a gold anklet. Okay, I'ma just take, I'ma I'm take pictures. I'm post it on the gram as well. But I'ma take pictures of the finished look, how everything looks. And let me know down below if you like this outfit or if I did too, too much for you. Leave a comment down below if you like the outfit, you think I did entirely too much, or if it's simply just perfect, it's you. You know, you will rock this down. So let me know in the comments down below. And thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Also leave a comment down below if you want me to do another, you know, get ready with me. But let me know down below and make sure you like comment and subscribe and share with your friends and family we on this oh my god my lashes okay so we on this journey to 100 subscribers we're almost there and once i get to 100 subscribers i will be doing a giveaway and i will talk about it in the next video but please like subscribe and share and thank you so much bye my rich babes Bye.